Hello friends, in this video, I will show you how to create a bokeh effect in your photo. By using the Fine Art Secret tool. This is the original photo, I have not edited anything. So to add light to this photo, I can choose flare. Greater than in this flare, I have a lot of backlight, so I can add it. You can add any light you like. Or I can choose. In this other section, I choose bokeh. You see a lot of bokeh. Just chose the one you like. For example in this picture I choose this bokeh. I will enlarge it. Then when I put it here, it will look like a bright flare. See it? I can shrink it a bit, so as not to touch the subject. Then I can enter. Or you can make it bigger. I clicked on this bokeh. I command T to make it bigger. There are many ways I can add bokeh. If you don't like this bokeh, I can choose another bokeh. Or I choose the glow. You see glow. This glow is also okay. Glow is a halo, now I add that halo. Note that you can delete the border, you see? Before, after. Then now I will add bokeh, special effects to the bottom of this photo, I will choose other, I choose bokeh. So now I see these streaks, the ones that reflect light, you can choose any one of these. Then I has a lot of bokeh models here. For example, I chooses this one. Do you see? The effects look at it very magical. Here, you can put one in here. Okay. Then I can add more. Or I reduce the opacity of this bokeh, depending on your preference. I can add more. One more bokeh. By being other, bokeh, I choose another one. I can choose this. Add here. You see, with this addition of bokeh, I have a very strange effect. If you want the color it to be like the shade here, due to the effect. Then you can choose, I choose brush color, I click on this part. Then I scan in, then you see my bokeh will change to that color, yellow. Do you see? The class here is the same, I will choose to click this color. Scan in, then you see the bokeh. Does not affect the subject. Because this color is I designed it to only brush on this bokeh pattern. Then I will group these bokeh together. Before, after, then you find it much more impressive. Then in case you want to blend colors, I will guide you how to blend it differently. Since I'm going to include these bokeh to blend colors, I'm going to choose bokeh. If you want to put the color in, I can choose the bokeh I put the color in. If I want to give blue. Depends on the picture. Either blend white or blend yellow. Then I will add these colored bokeh to my photo. For example, in this picture Sam wants it to be earthy yellow, then I will add it. You can just let it be added. Then I will reduce the opacity of this photo. Then you see that it will apply a slight color to your photo. That you see? Before, after. Normally, I wouldn't pick things like this too much. Then the image will be messed up. Usually I will choose these colors. My example shows you. I choose bokeh, I will choose smooth ones. Smooth light. I will choose this one. Then I will reduce the opacity again. Here you see? It overlays a layer of color on its image. This is how much I want to increase, 
it's up to me. Before, after. And then I will brush. I subtract. I press B, I brush, I subtract from the subject. Let your subject regain the sharpness and details of the subject. So you see, this is a way to blend colors, I blend yellow on my photo. Very impressive. And now I can change that color back. I will group. Adding red is equal to color cast, plus red. Before, after. Then you see. I can create effects for photos. From a photo with no effects at all, I can add bright flares. And the bokeh in. This bokeh has no limits. I can add as many bokeh as I want, depending on my creativity. As you can see, I has already created a lot of bokeh. So that I can take advantage. You can include any bokeh. You can experiment and I can change the color of these bokeh of mine. Make it fit your desires. Then you see there are many effects. Stay in this new edition of Fine Art Secret. Before, after.